Hey guys, how are you doing? It's Kevin here bringing you another video on information technology. I hope you're having a good day. Happy Sunday. And today I want to go over Active Directory and how it's used in a job environment. Just like a, a small overview of Active Directory and why it's important if you're doing help desk, IT support, or sysadmin. Obviously, if you're new to the channel, you know what to do. Rate, comment, subscribe. I uh, greatly appreciate it and it helps the channel. Okay, so let's go over this real quick. So we have what is Active Directory? Active Directory is a database, a set of services that connect users with the domain, with the network resources they need to get their work done. Think of it as one centralized phone book. So you see how, how I put a picture of a phone book over here on the right-hand side? Think of it as that. It's a phone book of information of people, of contacts, like HR, like finance, like IT. So you have a bunch of people that log in to a domain controller Mine is keftech.com. I have my own domain control. It's called keftech.com. And basically, when you authenticate, it, 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 goes, it goes through a process of authentication, and then you're able to log in. So it doesn't make any sense, right? Like, why would I sit on a computer and create local accounts? I create a bunch of accounts. I can't. I, I'll be here till tomorrow, right? Like, I'll go here to computer management. I'll show you right now what I'm talking about. So if I go to computer management, and I open this up real quick. And I go to users, right? And I right click here, click new user. Then I click here, click new user. Then I go here again, new user, right? I'm creating a bunch of user accounts, right? We wouldn't do that in a, in a job environment. Instead, we'll create it on Active Directory and users and computers. And then when the person logs in, they're able to log in and that's it. And you don't have to create a bunch of accounts. That, that way, everything is stored on the domain controller. Everything is stored on Active Directory. That's the reason why we do it on a server we create the accounts on the server, the user logs in, the client logs in, and then they're able to do what they have to do. So now that I'm done sharing this with you, let me show you an example of a server and let me show you an example of organizational units and different departments on a server, okay? So I opened it up real quick. Here we have server manager and here we have server 2016. So what I did was I already created Active Directory, I already installed it, right? So this is an overview. You have your local server, you have your, all your servers, you have your ADDS, you have your DNS, you have your file storage, right? On the, on the top left-hand side, you see that. Here you have your little button right here. You can click, you go to all these different functionalities. On the right-hand side, if you click down here, you could go over here. If you click on this, it's a refresh. These are like your little notifications right over here. On the right-hand side is manage. If you wanna add another role or feature, you have your tools, you have your view, and you have your help, right? All we care about today is Active Directory using the computers. So what I did was I already installed it. I already set it up. I installed it with keptech.com. That's what I did. That is my domain controller. And as you can see right over here, we have a domain controller called keptech.com, right? So this is very important. So if you work for a job environment, it doesn't matter what kind of job you work, you may have access to this, you may not. Depending on the environment that you're in, you'll have access to Active Directory using computers. And then what you could do here, depending on your level of access, you could create different organizational units. As you can see here on the left, I have HR, I have IT, and I have compliance. So what I'm gonna do is, and I have a folder for users, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a user for uh, HR and I'm gonna call her Sally. So what, how do you create user accounts? You right click on it, you hit new, you hit new user, and you hit Sally. And obviously, you could put her last name if you like. Her username is going to be Sally. And here, if you see the prompt here, it says user must change password on next login. That means when they log in for the first time, they will be prompt to change their password immediately. Obviously, if you uncheck it, then you're good to go. They should, they should just be able to log in without having to do anything, if that makes sense. So now Sally is there. Sally's created. So what can you do with Sally on the domain controller on this particular environment? I, obviously, I'm an admin account. I have power access. I'm a super user, right? So if you right-click on Sally, I could reset her password. So she's having issues logging in. I'll reset her password, right? If you right-click on her, I could disable her account. What if she leaves the company? What if she got terminated? So I could go ahead and disable her account. And when you do that, you notice that there's an arrow pointing down. That actually means that the account is disabled. If you see an arrow pointing down like that, that means the account is disabled. 
And if you right click on it again, you hit enable, you can enable the account and that, that arrow will disappear. And that means her account is enabled. So a few other things you could do. If you go into properties, you could go in there and then you have more information about her. You have her first name, her last name, her office, her email address, the web page, and you have her address. Maybe she, she lives in New York. Maybe she lives in, in Delaware or Dallas or, or Virginia. It doesn't matter. You may have to fill this out in your job or you may not. Some companies, HR fills it out. It really depends on the company that you work for, right? You have your account information. Here is a very, here where it gets very interesting. You can actually unlock an account, right? User machines password and next login. User cannot change password. Password never expires. Store password. Account is disabled. Account is account is sensitive and cannot be cannot be delegated. You have all this other information right here, right? On the right hand side, you have profile. So if you want to have a local home folder directory, you can create that. You have your telephone number and you have your organization organization, which is your do, job title, department, company, manager, maybe she reports to someone. So you may have to fill in her manager information right there. You have her title. She's she's human resources. So I'll, I'll go ahead and and put a, a HR, I don't know, HR manager, I guess, right? And then do put human resources in here. And because of KevTech, I'll put KevTech as a company and I'm gonna apply. I'm gonna hit okay. And it should still be filled out. If you double click on it, she's right there. So these are like the things you'll do in a job environment. You may have to add a member to a group. Obviously, this is a domain user group that they're part of. There are different types of groups in a job environment. And this is this is just to give you a, a quick overview of Active Directory. Obviously, there's more in depth. There's a lot of information that goes on. There's a lot of things that go on in Active Directory, but Think of it as um, something that is managed by your IT service provider or your IT team or IT department. So I'm going to stop sharing because that's all I wanted to go over today. So that's about it. So Active Directory is a phone book. It's managed by your IT department. They create the accounts. They reset the accounts. They may give you access to a specific file, a specific folder. They may give you access to a certain thing that's done behind the scenes by adding you to a security group. It could be a lot of different things depending on the company you work for. If you found this video really helpful, please let me know and I'll make more videos like this, okay? With that being said, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I hope you guys have a wonderful Sunday. All right, take care.